In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We praise Thee, O God, we acknowledge Thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship Thee, Father everlasting. The all angels cry aloud, heavens and all the powers therein. To the cherubim and seraphim, continually to cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee. The Father of an infinite majesty, thine adorable true and only Son, also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst humble thyself to be born of the virgin, when thou hast overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee Help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints. In glory everlasting. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine, inher thine heritage. Govern them and lift them up forever. Day by day we magnify thee. And we worship thy name, ever world, without end. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us, have mercy upon us. O Lord, let thy mercy be upon us, as our trust is in thee. <coughs> o Lord, in thee have I trusted, let me never be confounded. <coughs> Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> Alleluia. Sing and make music to the Lord in your hearts, always thanking God the Father for all things, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians 5, 19-20. Father all-powerful, your gifts of love are countless and your goodness infinite. As we come before you in thanksgiving, with gratitude for your kindness, open our hearts to have concern for every man, woman, and child, so that we may share your gifts in loving service through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. O God, our Father, from whose hand we have received generous gifts, so that we might learn to share your blessings in gratitude. Accept our praise and thanksgiving, and especially for Jesus Christ and his perfect sacrifice, 
draw us closer to all our brothers and sisters in the human family and open our hands and minds and hearts in generosity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And from the Magnificat of November 2023, Volume 25, Number 9. Page 334. Let us give thanks to God, for his love is everlasting. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. <clears throat> now thank we all our God, with heart and hands and voices, who wondrous things has done, in whom this world rejoices, who from our mother's arms has blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love and still is ours today. O oh, may this bounteous God through all our life be near us with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us and keep us in his grace, and guide us in distress, and free us from all sin, till heaven we possess. All praise and thanks to God, the Father now be given, the Son and Spirit blessed, who reigns in highest heaven. Eternal triumph God, whom earth and heaven adore, for thus it was, is now, and shall be evermore. <clears throat> In all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 5.18 One of the greatest gifts we enjoy on this day is the freedom to give thanks in public worship. We pray, O Lord, for those who do not have this freedom, for those under persecution, for those under harassment and surveillance, lest they praise you in public. Grant that our hearts may overflow with thanksgiving for the many gifts you have given us, which are countless. And grant, O Lord, that we may praise you, our Father, for your infinite paternal love for us. May we praise and thank you, above all, for the gift of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, true God and true man, who is one God with you and the Holy Spirit for his taking our nature on himself. And we thank you for all the things in our life, for our preservation and all that happens in our life. Even the difficult things, even the challenges, we praise you, O oh God, and thank you. For these will be great occasions of growth in grace for us and of being channels of your love to all people. The Canticle from First Chronicles 16, 8 through 12. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name, make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him, sing his praise, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Glory to his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall all the wondrous deeds he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without
without end. Amen. A reading from the book of Tobit, from the twelfth chapter, the sixth verse. Thank God, give him the praise and the glory. Before all the living, acknowledge the many good things he has done for you by blessing and extolling his name in song. Before all men, honor and proclaim God's deeds and do not be slack in praising him. Therefore, our God, we give you thanks, and we praise the majesty of your name. A reading from the book of Sirach, from the 50th chapter, beginning with the, from the 22nd through the 24th verses. And now bless the God of all, who has done wondrous things on earth, who fosters people's growth from their mother's womb, and fashions them according to his will. May he grant you joy of heart, and may peace abide among you. May his goodness towards us endure in Israel to deliver us in our days. From Psalm 113. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high, and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor, to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way, with all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift, as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you are called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. In all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. 
Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled to Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten persons with leprosy met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In all circumstances give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. In all circumstances give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. <coughs> First Thessalonians five eighteen. An attitude of gratitude can lift us up from so many things. Gratitude, of course, for the pleasant things of life and for the deep and profound things. Love for one another, a friendship with other people, and even friendship with animals, all sorts of things. We are called to be grateful for in our lives, but there are not just pleasant things in life. There are hard things. There are losses. Loved ones leave us, especially in this mortal life, by death. But our faith, for which we should have the greatest thanks to God, tells us that we are not separated from those who have gone before us in his grace. Yes, bodily separated, but not spiritually. And they may be materially dead, but in Christ, in the power of his grace, in the power of the Holy Spirit, they can be more alive than we are as closer and closer they get to God, the Holy Trinity, a deeper and deeper communion they have with him. And we too can grow in that. And Thanksgiving is one of the four pillars of prayer. There's adoration of God for being God, and which we give only to God. There's repentance, contrition, the, the prayer of, of repentance of sin and of missing opportunities of grace. There's supplication, that is, an intercession, praying for our needs and the needs of others to the Father, through our one mediator, Jesus Christ, to God and to man, in the power of the Holy Spirit, united with the prayers and praises of all the body of Christ, of all the, those who belong to him here on earth and in heaven and, in, and on, on the porch of heaven. And then there's thanksgiving.
which we give to God not only by ourselves, but with all who belong to the Lord. I think in the book of Revelation of the vast throngs praising and thanking God forever and adoring him. So we're united with them in thanksgiving. But this thanksgiving for the hard things in life, which we usually don't think of when we think of thanksgiving, because these hard things in life can not only strengthen us, though often they feel that they can weaken us, spiritually, but can deepen our compassion towards others and unite us in a very strong way with the saving death of Christ and, yes, with his glorious resurrection. So we turn to him in thanks. We turn to him in praise. We turn to God in thanksgiving for everything he's done for us, and especially for that incarnation in which God, the eternal word, proved that God is love by becoming one of us, being one with us in the trenches of the struggles of our mortal life. He died for us and died with us. He is there with us as we pass from this mortal life, saying, I've been through this. I'm here with you, and I'm here on the other side with all those who love you in his grace. Therefore, our God, we give you thanks, and we praise the majesty of your name. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Page 336 in the Magnificat of November 2023. Intercessions. Let us turn to God in thanksgiving for all the gifts bestowed by his unfailing love, whether upon us personally or upon others. For on this day we rejoice in the good fortune of all. The response, thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord, from Romans 7.25. Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. For the beauty and fruitfulness of the earth, and the mystery and wonder of all creation. Thanks be to God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, for the love of family and friends, and the blessings of a community of faith and worship. Thanks be to God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, for health and strength, and the courage to bear ill health and weakness. Thanks be to God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, for the gift of work, and for the opportunities of creative leisure, Thanks be to God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord our God, the giver of all good gifts, we give you thanks and praise for all your great and many blessings to us. But especially we thank you this day for the gift of life and all that you have given us to sustain life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. Psalm 138, verse 1. 
How can I repay the Lord for all his goodness to me? The chalice of salvation I will raise, and I will call on the name of the Lord. Page 344 in the Magnificat of 2023. Let us thank the Lord with all our hearts. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> Sing to the Lord a joyful song. Lift up your hearts, your voices raise. To us his gracious gifts belong. To him our songs of love and praise. For life and love, for rest and food, for daily help and nightly care, sing to the Lord, for he is good, and praise his name, for it is fair. For joys untold from above, cheer those who love his blessed employ, sing to our God, for he is love. Extol his name, for it is joy. For life below, with all its bliss, and for the life more pure and high, that nobler life which after this shall ever shine and never die. From Psalm 138. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? Psalm 116, 12. The debt of gratitude we owe for God's faithful love can be repaid only in a two-sided coin, turning to God in thanksgiving and doing for others what he has done for us. Psalm 138. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will bless you. I will adore before your holy temple. I thank you for your faithfulness and love, which excel all we ever knew of you. On the day I called, you answered. You increased the strength of my soul. All earth's kings shall thank you. When they hear the words of your mouth, they shall sing of the Lord's ways. How great is the glory of the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Colossians 3, 15-17 Be thankful that the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as in all wisdom you teach and admonish one another, singing hymns, psalms and spiritual songs with gratitude in your hearts to God. And whatever you do in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. 2 Corinthians 9.15 Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, make your request known to God. Philippians 4.6 Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Thanks be to God for for his indescribable gift. <clears throat> Page 346, Intercessions. The refrain is, Your love is everlasting. Your love is everlasting. Let us lift grateful hearts to God in prayer. Your love is everlasting. You have blessed us with the gift of life, sustained through the generosity of your people, those whose lives are threatened by poverty, disease, violence, or neglect. Your love is everlasting. You have blessed us with the gift of faith. Send courageous witnesses and vibrant teachers 
to inspire faith in all who doubt or disbelieve. Your love is everlasting. You have blessed us with the gift of hope in a life beyond death. Strike up the joyful hymns of heaven in those who have died. Your love is everlasting. Ephesians 5.20 We give thanks always and for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to God the Father. Accept, O Lord, our thanks and praise for all that you have done for us. We thank you for the splendor of the whole of creation, for the beauty of this world, for the wonder of life, and for the mystery of love. We thank you for the blessing of family and friends, and for the loving care which surrounds us on every side. We thank you for setting us at tasks which demand our best efforts, and for leading us to accomplishments which satisfy and delight us. We thank you also for those disappointments and failures that lead us to acknowledge our dependence on you alone. Above all, we thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ, for the truth of his word and the example of his life, for his steadfast obedience, by which he overcame temptation, for his dying, through which he overcame death, and for his rising to life, in which we are raised to the life of your kingdom. Grant us the gift of your spirit, that we may know Christ and make him known, and through him at all times and in all places, may give thanks to you in all things. Amen. Let us give thanks to God our Father for all his gifts, since he so freely bestowed upon us. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the beauty and wonder of your creation in earth and sky and sea. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for all that is gracious in the lives of men and women, revealing the image of Christ. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for our daily food and drink, our homes and families and our friends. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for minds to think and hearts to love and hands to serve, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for health and strength to work and leisure to rest and play. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the brave and courageous who are patient in suffering and faithful in adversity. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for all valiant seekers after truth, liberty, and justice, that they may find this in you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the communion of saints in all times and places. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Above all, we give you thanks for the great mercies and promises given to us in Christ Jesus, our Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. To him be praise and glory with you, O Father, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Help us, O Lord, in thanksgiving, to apply our thanksgiving in this life, to persevere in the good works that you have called us to do. Strengthen our efforts to bring relief to people, to bring consolation to the suffering, to bring healing to the sick, to bring knowledge to the ignorant 
and prejudiced to show forth your glory in all that we do and hasten the day when your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, will return in glory. We give thanks to you for all things and above all for him, our Savior, Jesus Christ. We thank you in a special way for the great thanksgiving that you have given us when we show forth the once offered sacrifice of Christ in the Holy Eucharist, the Holy Thanksgiving. We thank you for his real presence in the Eucharist. And we thank you that you are here with us at all time with your Son and the Holy Spirit. To you be everlasting thanksgiving, praise and glory forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.